Well, you guys, remember forever ago when I told you I was buying a house, trying to make it happen? Well, it was so such hard work. I didn't realize how long and how hard it was to get together buying a house, but it actually happened. And this is my house. Let me show you before I bring anything inside. Just bear. I'm so excited. I'm going to give you a full tour. Brookie. Oh, <laughs> Brookie is loving all the space, aren't you? So you walk in, this is not the front door, this is the side door. You have a little area for a laundry room, kind of like a mud room. I have to get a washer and dryer and a little bathroom. Then you walk in, check this out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is the kitchen. I love all the logs, like all the wood, everything. It was built in 1997 and it's just so beautiful. So rustic, cabiny. I love it so much. So we got this nice little kitchen with a nice island, dishwasher, stove, oven, another oven, microwave, um, fridge, and a nice freezer. You guys know I need that for my hunting stuff. Brookie. <laughs> it is propane heated. I might look into changing that to a wood stove down the line. Well, look at this beautiful stone right here. <laughs> Brookie, you don't know how hard your mom works to get you these nice things. It's spoiled rotten. <laughs> so we have that. And then over here, we have another like little stone entrance way. I think that's like a vintage stove. I'm thinking of like putting my really nice velvet buck on a pedestal and like really showing him off here. Let me just give you guys a little hint of the view. You're not going to believe it. Oh, <laughs> it is so amazing. And that's public land right there. Right outside my piece of property is public land for me to enjoy. How cool is that? So we got all this. So this right here will be dining room. This over here will be living room. Gonna put like a little L-shaped couch, TV right there. I love all the window space in this house. Um, I love the fact that like every wall is covered in windows. So cool, I love it so much. It's just perfect size. We got a porch, really nice big wraparound porch. I would show you guys the view. I don't wanna give away my location too much. Just trust me, the view is amazing million dollar view as you can see right there wow red rock beautiful then you go in here that's the front door and you go in here and you have the master bedroom once again tons of windows all with a great view nice big big master bedroom and closet gigantic master bathroom Nice tub over there, storage, more storage, bathroom, shower. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Brookie, do you love it? <laughs> do you love it, Brookie? Brookie, how do you feel about it? You love it? Do you love it? <laughs> oh, Brookie. Brookie! Brookie, how do you like the new house? Brookie! How do you like it? Chat on the property. It's not perfect, but um, I did buy some expanding foam so I can like seal some of the cracks up there. And really, it's just going to act for great storage for my fishing stuff. There's already some shelves in it. Awesome. I'm gonna start loading some things up. Maybe I'll paint this red and make it look like a little barn. What do you guys think? Let me know. That's my closest neighbor and then I have really no close neighbors anywhere else around me because I'll show you why. Public land. I border the public land. How cool is this? Property boundary, national forest land behind this sign. Is that the best ever? And guess what? The National Forest doesn't even use this gate. This is a gate only for me. Only I have the luck. 
So, so exciting. This is like priceless. It's so hard to find land that borders national forests these days. It's really hard to come by. And I'm so happy and if about that it. wasn't cool enough. Introducing the chunky bunkhouse. <laughs> I have a bunkhouse on the property, so the house itself is just a one bedroom. But then you have this big bunkhouse, which I'll show you guys inside probably in a little bit. But it's perfect, and I'm gonna remodel it and make it amazing. So I'm so excited about this bunkhouse. It's literally perfect for me. Well, just in time to pick the old trailer up, take it off the public land. If you guys are worried at all about if I'm gonna stop trailer living and all that, don't you worry, trailer living videos are still gonna be in full swing, but I'm gonna use my trailer more for what it's made and for. And that is for like quicker trips, you know, on faraway spots on the mountain for weekends, for a week at a time, stuff like that. It, as much as I live in it and I love it, it's really hard to move it every two weeks and feel comfortable in a new spot. You can't return to camp spots, so you run out of safe spots, flat spots, spots with surface, spots with shade. I could go on and on. I'm not complaining about it, but I did something about it. I bought a house and I'm really looking forward to using the trailer more for, like I said, what it's meant to be for like weekend trips and stuff like that. So there's still gonna be a lot of trailer videos, don't you worry. I just have to take a second to brag. These little trailers are not easy to back up, but I have gotten so good at it in this tight little spot. I was able to finagle it around, didn't take too long, get it right back in there, which is a perfect spot for it for now. Gonna use a lot of my trailer stuff for the house for the time being. Gonna take it off the hitch. 